I was laying around in my sleeping bag, being kind of lazy this morning. And uh, there's some wolves howling on the other side of the river. But uh, I don't think they're going to cross that river. It's pretty wide and swift. Sounds like they're just right here on this little low ridge here. Maybe 200 yards or so. Time to make some coffee. Uh, I had a mouse get into my cashews last night. Oh, bastard. <clears throat> I got one of these little mesh bags from uh, Oregon Packworks, and I use it to carry my game bags in, but um, I'm going to use it for a different purpose today. <laughs> oh, man. So... I don't know if those wolves crossed the river or if that's just a different wolf over there, but um, they got around on the backside of me. But uh, I doubt that, I doubt I can get them to come in here. This is an established campsite and there's, we're, we're 12 miles from the trailhead, but I mean, there, there's outfitters back here and they, these wolves get shot at. So um, I imagine they're pretty wary. But who knows, we'll see. Uh, my water's boiling though. Heavy today, last day. There we go. We'll just let that sit for a little bit. I think he likes cashews. So if you pour a little bit of cold water on top of your hot coffee grounds, It'll help settle those grounds. And it works really well with pre-ground coffee. But uh, this coffee I ground myself and there's some coarse chunks in it and those chunks will still be floating. And uh, I don't particularly like to sift that through my teeth. So I'm gonna use that little thing to sift it through.
go. That's hot. So I've got a couple of questions about this can that I carry around with me. I've shown this in videos before. Um, I showed it in a, uh, a survival kit video that I did for Backcountry College there a couple years back. Um, but this is a, a bot from Vargo Outdoors, and I absolutely love this thing. I carry it around with me everywhere I go in the woods. Uh, I use it for a water bottle. It seals up tight. Um, this is the, uh, the titanium version, so it's a little lighter than their steel one. Uh, but it's got this uh, little rubber O-ring in it. Uh, so. Uh, when you clamp this lid down uh, it seals up tight but one of the cool things about this is that you can take that o-ring off and the lid is made uh, to turn upside down and fit on there uh, so that you can bo boil water faster and you, when you take that o-ring off you can set that thing right next to the fire boil water cook food whatever you want to do and you don't have to worry about messing up your seal um, but I've had this one for, like I said, uh, a couple of years, and I've never had to replace the O-ring, never had any trouble with it. Um, the only thing that you want to watch out for uh, when you're sealing this up is if you put warm water or hot water in this and then seal it up, and when that water cools off, it creates a vacuum, and it can be very difficult to get the lid off, so just be conscious of that. Um, but that's the only thing that I've ever really had an issue with this thing. Um, but uh, I love it and I would highly recommend it. It's a, it's a great piece of gear. Fargo Bot. So I'm headed back to the trailhead. And these, you know, those wolves on the other side of the river are still over there, they're howling. They're, they're probably not but 150 yards or so. But the, uh, the timber's kind of dense in here. I like hearing them. 